Josh joins us now with the forecast. Josh, in the last half hour or so, reports of freezing rain both on the east side and the west side. Uh, yes, it's starting to kind of trickle its way into parts of the Portland area. This photo coming in just moments ago of some of the ice already starting to accumulate on some of those tree branches. This is out towards the Forest Heights area where we are getting a few reports of power outages as well. So that's going to be an ongoing concern through the rest of this evening. So if you happen to have a weather photo or video you'd like us to see, scan the QR code on your screen right now. That will direct you to coin.com. And the sites of melting slushy conditions Conditions are a sight seen across the area. That's why we're keeping that Queen 6 weather alert in place. The breakdown goes as follows. Freezing rain for some tonight. Icy spots are likely going to take us well into Friday morning before we eventually start to warm up. But you'll notice a lot of those side streets still the most impacted with slushy conditions. So use extreme caution as we could potentially see some refreezing as we move through the rest of the overnight hours. Uh, glance at our temperatures right now. PDX at 35. Vancouver slightly cooler at about 33. These temperatures, they will start to decrease through the rest of the overnight hours. So I've gone ahead, highlighted that 32 two degree temperature line. You'll notice by the time we get to eight o'clock tonight, falling below freezing. Once again, we stay there for much of the night just by about a degree or so. 6 a.m. The coldest part over the next 24 hours where we will fall to about 30 degrees and all of this has the potential to start to refreeze. But I want to give us a science moment here. This is called the triple point of water. It means that we can have it both in the gas form as clouds. We can have it as active rain falling or even liquid puddles on the ground. But we can also have ice and snow on the surface as well. Now those melting runoff kind of rivers that form in the streets, likely not to freeze, but stagnant water that will be the quickest to turn to ice. As freezing rain is falling for parts of the area, that's indicated by the pink, the yellows and oranges, the heavy downpours that have the potential to turn into the freezing conditions again as heavy snow falls over the Cascades and points further off to the east. So travel along the Columbia River Gorge hazardous through tonight and into tomorrow. So the breakdown for tonight. Freezing potential for the roadways as we work our way into Friday morning. Icy spots a possibility for some primarily along the side streets before all of us start to melt down. But we'll be discussing how much ice could potentially accumulate in the next 24 hours coming up in just a few minutes. Josh, thank you. And while other areas are slowly starting to melt again, East County remains encased in ice and like Josh was saying, more is on the way. All right.